don't, the oceans freeze. There are oceans, such as the Arctic Ocean, where the air and sea get very, very cold, but they tend not to freeze. The freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or a surge degrees Celsius. Now, oceans and the air around them can often go below that temperature. Why? First, because the ocean contains salt. Salt lowers the freezing temperature of water. So depending on how much salt is in the water, instead of freezing at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it might now freeze at 20 degrees. This is why we throw salt on the roads here in Maine. The salt on the roads makes it so you don't have as much ice on the roads so your car doesn't slip around. To explore this answer, we are going to conduct an experiment. For this, you will need three containers, water, liquid measuring cups, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of salt. Make sure that your containers are the same exact size and shape, otherwise that might throw off our results. Take the three bowls and label them somehow so you can keep track of them while they're on your table and in your freezer. Now leave the first bowl alone because that will be our control with just the plain water. The sugar solution will act as a comparison group for the salt solution. Now add your one tablespoon of sugar and stir, and do the same for the salt. After you've mixed up your solutions, place these bowls in your freezer. Make sure that they're stable so they don't fall over. Then check them every 10 minutes and record your results. Here I am at my first 10 minute mark, and there's not much of a difference. Nothing's changed. At the 20 minute mark, I had ice in my water solution, but not in the sugar or the salt. At the 30 minute mark, my water is still frozen. My sugar solution is getting there, but not quite, and my salt solution hasn't even begun to freeze. Even at the 40 minute mark, my water is still frozen, my sugar solution is a little bit more frozen, and my salt still hasn't frozen at all. At the 50 minute mark, you can see that our water right here is frozen. Not all the way through, but it's still pretty frozen. Here is our sugar, and as you can see, you can see the crystal structure of the ice starting to form over the top. And here is our last one, our salt. And you can see that it's slushy, and you can still stir it with your finger. It hasn't frozen much at all. But wait, at the end, you might have noticed that the salt solution was freezing slowly, but it was getting there. The amount of salt in the ocean is only 3,500 parts per million which means that for every million pieces of ocean, there are only 3,500 pieces of salt. That's not a whole lot. What this does is lowers the freezing point of water to only about 28 degrees Fahrenheit. But wait a minute, the air temperature, as we know, can get far below 28 degrees, especially in the Arctic, where it can be negative 30. So why doesn't it freeze? In the Arctic, there's a layer of ice, but it's not frozen all the way down to the bottom. The big reason is because of movement. The oceans are always moving around. Warmer waters and colder waters travel around the globe as well. Think of a pond and a river. Which one freezes over first? Ponds freeze over first, whereas the rivers freeze over last, especially if there's a strong current in the river. If we boxed in the Arctic so the waters couldn't move like a pond, it would freeze solid, just like in our experiment, our salt water would eventually freeze solid because it's boxed in. For another experiment, if you have time, take two bowls, similar to the ones that we used, and fill them with the same amount of water just like before. Place both of them in the freezer, and every 10 to 15 minutes, stir one of them. See which one freezes over completely first. I hope you enjoyed our little experiment on why the oceans don't freeze. Have fun, and keep exploring! Why Don't the Oceans Freeze by Miss Stowbridge is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 3.0 United States License.